Hi, my name is Mikhail Kamejo Hari, and I'm a volcanologist at the UE Seismic Research Center based in St. Augustine, Trinidad. Ground deformation refers to changes in the shape of the Earth's surface, and this may appear as swelling or sinking or cracking, and it usually occurs as a result of the movement of fluids beneath the Earth's surface, and these fluids could be magma or gases or even water. And ground deformation can also occur when you have movements along faults. Ground deformation can give us information about the subsurface or what's beneath volcanoes. So for example, if we see over time that a volcano has been swelling over a specific period of time, we can infer that we have the accumulation of magma beneath the surface and we can use this to forecast volcanic activity. So using ground deformation measurements, we can get an idea of the location of magma accumulation beneath the surface and also the size of this magmatic reservoir. So ground deformation movements are often very small in magnitude. So the kinds of changes that we're looking at are very small, like centimeter size changes. And we use very sensitive instruments to pick up these changes. At the Seismic Research Centre, we have a network of GPS ground-based instruments distributed throughout the islands of the Eastern Caribbean. And these instruments are continuously measuring the specific points or locations of these instruments over time. And we use this to assess any changes in these positions over time to, to see ground deformation. Additionally, we use satellite-based imagery to assess ground deformation. This is a complementary technique to GPS, and it offers a more extensive coverage of ground deformation. So whereas GPS instruments measure specific locations, um, satellite and imagery allows you to cover a much broader geographical area. And how it works is that we use satellites that orbit the Earth to acquire radar-based images, and we use a technique called INSA to assess changes in these radar images over time. So if we um, take these radar images at the same point at different periods, we can see any changes in ground deformation and use this along with GPS to measure ground deformation. 